We talked about you microblading and other ways that you can fill in your eyebrows permanently, but these procedures can be much more than a fashion statement. For people who have survived cancer or are living with alopecia, these services can help recreate the brows that they've lost. So joining us now, Kobe Yellis from EBK Beauty with how she is using her skills to help people out. Thank you for being here, Kobe. Hi. Okay, so we got to get to this. What are you doing right now? Well, right now I'm depositing a uh, pigment into the brow slashes that I've made in her brows. Okay, so you've so. made slash. That's the first step? Yes, we made slashes in the brows, and then you deposit the pigment. So they're little small hair strokes. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives the brows a more fuller 3D look, as a matter of fact. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's better than the, the, the block brows that we used to get, or your mom used to get, or your grandma. <laughs> Yeah, and they're permanent, and you can't uh, do anything about yeah. it. Yeah. So now with this process, microblading, you can or uh, 3D hair embroidery, you can actually cover over some of those brows that have, you know, been tattooed in permanently. So how would you? When does a person need to consider this? Is it for someone who has like lost a lot of, you know, their eyebrow hair? Is it something you just want them to be fuller? Well. It runs the full span. Okay. If you have no brows, to I just want a few more hairs on the end because I'm thinner on the end or I'm thinner on the inside. Mm -hmm. Microblading can help anyone who wants a fuller look to their brows. Gotcha. And so, what is the whole process like? Well, actually, um, I have here Jade who is coming in for her four week follow up. Okay. And so, if you can take a close look here, Freddie, I'm not sure if you can, there are already some strokes in her brows. Mm -hmm. And so at the four-week visit, what we do is we go back in and fill in. If there's anything that Jade wants to change her brow, about her brows, mm -hmm. we can do that now as well. But she liked the color, she liked the stroke pattern, so now we're just going to make them fuller for her. So you do that on the first visit, you put in the strokes, you kind of decide what kind of shape you want for the brow. Right. And then the color. That's right. And then on this visit, you come back and... And fill in gotcha. so that they look fuller and prettier for her. They look beautiful. Yeah. Did, it, did it hurt Jay? Not a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> you got to tell the truth. You know it's worth it sometimes. Yeah. I mean, it's such a cool thing when you think about it just for filling in your eyebrows. But for women who have really, you know, been through something where they lost right. their eyebrows, like, it, it means even more. And so you decided to offer this service for free for some, some people who have gone through that. Right, for men, women, it. and children. Okay. There are many people who have undergone can undergone cancer and treatments, mm -hmm. that is, and they've lost their brows and the brow hairs don't grow back. Mm -hmm. Then you have people who have trichotillomania where they pull their hair out yeah. or alopecia where it just comes out. Yeah. So for every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday for the month of February, the entire month, I'm going to do two people free. That's so you got to call in a hurry. Call in and you just don't show up. you got to call in right. in advance. <laughs> this is so cool. What made you want to start doing this kind of work? Well, actually, my mom... Uh, underwent cancer treatments, yeah. uh, maybe some 10 years ago now, but her brows never came back. Oh. So when I found out about this, I said, Mom, this is a great idea. And she says, oh, darling, yeah, <laughs> okay. Yeah. But she, didn't, she was afraid of the tattooing process, but once I did it, she loved it. Yeah. And so I said, okay, good, this is going to stick. This is really good. That's it's going to help a lot of people. So. You think a lot of people might feel like your mom felt like they're afraid to try it a little bit? Absolutely. Yeah. She was mortified, even of the pain and yeah. things like that and how it's going to turn out. But yeah. she knows that I'm really good at drawing. Brow art is something I've been doing since I was 12. Yeah. I started with threading. So and you need she to trusted me. Careful about that, making sure you have somebody who can draw them on. And yeah. Because listen, this is going to catch on really fast. So yeah. before you know it, there'll be nail shops doing it, hair supply stores, anywhere you can duck off. But at the end of the day, what you really want to search for is someone who has the talent for brow art, not just a makeup artist, but someone who has the talent. So I would always tell anyone to do your research. It's yeah. really important. Awesome. Say, show me pictures over and over. Let me talk to someone. Yeah. Things like that make a cool. difference. Well, these look great, and we're excited to see how they turn out. Um, if nice. you're interested in finding out if you, first of all, want to get your brows done, or maybe you qualify for those free services that she was talking about, you can call her salon, EBK Beauty. The number is 904 568 5242. And if you um, need to get that number again, we put a link to her website and all the information on the morning show page of newsforjax.com.